What are BNEBs or antibodies? Antibodies are natural Y-shaped proteins in the body that fight disease. They are found in the blood or other body fluids. Therefore, they are part of the body's defense system against infections such as viruses. When a virus enters the body, it can infect the cells by entering them and making copies of itself. This is what makes the person sick. In turn, the body will start to make antibodies to try to stop the virus from infecting more cells. Antibodies can recognize a unique part of the virus and attach to the outside of viruses to block them from causing an infection. This is called neutralizing. You can think of antibodies as the body's soldiers, working to protect people from infections. Fighting HIV isn't so easy because every time the virus makes copies of itself, it changes its appearance a little. This means the normal antibodies have trouble keeping up with those changes and find it difficult to block the virus. However, despite the evasion tactics of HIV, a few individuals with long-term HIV infection develop special rare antibodies known as broadly neutralizing antibodies. Broadly neutralizing antibodies, also known as BNABs, attach themselves onto the virus, covering up the parts that HIV uses to attach to our cells. Those parts don't change, even if HIV keeps making copies. That means BNABs can neutralize lots of different forms of HIV from around the world. Researchers have figured out how to make BNABs in the lab. Scientists have created BNABs that can last longer than the ones your body makes by itself. They're made without using any infected cells or real HIV. So it's impossible for them to cause HIV infection or AIDS. Studies are being done to see if BNABs can also prevent a person from getting HIV in the first place. But what is the difference between vaccines and BNABs? When a vaccine is given to a person, it triggers a response from the person's immune system to form antibodies. This response is similar to when they get exposed to the real virus. Later, if the person gets exposed to that virus, their body already knows how to make specific antibodies that can fight off the disease naturally. Giving BNABs to someone can be done either by an injection, the same way a vaccine is given, or via a drip through a needle or tube inserted into a vein. This way, we skip the part where the body must learn to make these antibodies on its own. The antibodies are then present immediately. These special antibodies could play a part in developing new ways to combat HIV infection and maybe one day they will help to create an effective HIV vaccine.